When the manufacture of paper became established in Europe in the 14th century, printing technology began to develop. By the mid-15th century, prints made using intaglio processes had appeared. The earliest forms of intaglio printing involved cutting or scoring lines into a metal printing plate. The plate is then inked up and the surface wiped clean to leave the ink only in the lines cut into the metal. The press used for etchings and engravings forces the paper into the incised lines picking up the ink. As the plate is literally a mould into which the paper is pressed, the image is embossed on the paper giving it the sculptural quality. There are several different intaglio techniques. Engraving is a demanding technique originally developed by gold and silversmiths requiring skill and patience. A sharp tool, known as a burin, is used to cut directly into the metal, producing lines of extraordinary depth and clarity. Dry point is a more expressive method, nearer to drawing, in which a sharp point is used to score into the metal. Scoring into the plate throws up a shoulder of metal alongside the shallow groove it creates. This traps the ink in a particular way, giving the lines a soft, velvety quality. Etching is perhaps the best known of all intaglio techniques. With knowledge gleaned from alchemists and the makers of armour, the technique came into being in the beginning of the 16th century. To make an etching, a metal plate, usually copper or zinc, is cut to size and the edges are filed. The plate is cleaned thoroughly to remove traces of grease and then rinsed with water front and back. After this, the plate is dried. It is important to ensure that there is no dust on the plate. The plate must now be covered with an acid-resistant layer. The plate is now completely covered with resist, leaving a thin, even layer. After drying the resist, a sharp metal point is used to draw, ensuring that the lines are scratched through the layer of resist. Edinburgh printmakers we use safer chemicals to bite the lines into the plate. Copper plates are etched in a solution of ferric chloride and iron salt. Vertical dip tanks are used to avoid a buildup of sediment as the ferric chloride attacks the plate. Lines in a copper plate will take 30 minutes or more to etch in the ferric solution. Zinc is etched in a copper salt solution deep blue in colour. The back of the plate is protected by applying self-adhesive plastic or by coating the back with an acrylic varnish. The ink used to print etchings is similar to oil paint as it contains burnt linseed oil to make it viscous and sticky. Water-based etching inks are available but many printmakers still prefer traditional oil-based ink. The ink is spread onto the plate with a piece of card. Oil or other additives can be used to make the ink less stiff and easier to work. The surface ink is cleaned off using a flat pad of muslin-like material to wipe the plate. Using firm but gentle strokes, plate is wiped from all angles to ensure that the ink fills the etched lines. For a bright clean print, the wiping is finished using a piece of tissue paper held flat against the plate. Printing etchings is a laborious process as the plate must be inked and wiped for each print. A registration sheet with the position of plate and printing paper drawn on it is taped onto the bed of the etching press. The inked up plate is placed in position on the registration sheet. Good quality paper, generally made from cotton, is most often used to print etchings. To achieve the best results, the paper is left to soak in water to make it soft and pliable enough to be forced into the etched lines during printing. The paper is blotted to ensure that it is not too wet for printing and any dust or surface moisture is brushed off. The printing paper is held with cardboard tabs to keep the paper clean and is placed on top of the plate in one go. A sheet of tissue paper is placed on top. During printing, a steel plank or bed travels backwards and forwards between two heavy steel rollers supported by the cast iron framework of the press. 
The press is equipped with finely woven woolen blankets to cushion the plates and paper during printing. As the rollers exert enormous pressure, the dampened paper is pushed into the lines, picking up the ink. The blankets are flipped back, the tissue removed, and the paper is gently peeled back from one corner. As dampened paper is used in printing, prints need to be dried between absorbent boards to prevent them buckling and to keep them flat. Aquatint is used to achieve a range of tones from white through greys to black. Different tones are achieved by painting out areas with acrylic varnish as the plate is being etched. In use by the end of the 18th century, Goya was an early pioneer of the technique. In conventional aquatint, particles of rosin dust made from the sap of pine trees are fused onto the plate using heat. However, the safe and simple alternative is to spray the acrylic resist directly onto the plate in a fine, even layer.